Hello, everybody. Wait. Hello, creatures. Corrox is at the surface. And welcome to Let's Play Assassin Creed. You, if they're loading for your upwise, jiggly jack, because these things working on older system. My system is like 2009. Sorry about all this. But I'm fortunate. You know. You know. I apply my heart to no wisdom and to no madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after me. For in much wisdom, he is much grief. And he is in recent knowledge, and grief and sorrow. You've got a problem. What? I can't anchor him to the memory. He looks like a lot of trauma. He's projecting the tree. Retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and What is going on around here? Yeah, it feels a little like it's getting worse. It's not worth it. Do you see what I'm doing? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction, 
How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just the animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestor's memory. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the animus. We will begin by exploring the default action of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. your empty hands to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Well done. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions, low-profile and high-profile. Low-profile actions are socially acceptable. High-profile actions are more action-oriented. Hold the high-profile button to see how your heads-up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent! You will continue your synchronization process by testing some high-profile action. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand buttons in high profile. Good. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Well done. The 
and this will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Then, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Your social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Your social status indicates that you are hidden. The soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. Down with this. All better things to do. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded.
Oh, it took up 10 minutes of my time already. Probably more. Altair, you've returned. Raoul, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, sir. Buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace are there. On you as well. Okay, I better cut out because of that darn. The last mission was. Uh, Only the highest town. At last, Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue into his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Brother. It is long. The last of which. Nearly? 
I want your favorite fans to find you. Take it. Though it seems I've returned to more than just the treasure. Master, we are under attack. Prepare the sound of the siege to Masiyak's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I will not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Maltair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. <laughs> We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. <laughs> Hey, 
girls what you have stolen from me. You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to take your right father. You play a dangerous game. I assure you, this is no game. So be it. Bring forth the hostage. <laughs> Your village lays in ruins, and your stars are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and your food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! Oh, my leg! Oh, my leg! Quiet, but the Templars will hear us. I'll stay behind you, Tim. You'll have to go ahead without us. The rope's there. We'll bring it to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Bring death upon our enemies. Direct or indirect. Yet your 
selfish act we need Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I'm sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his leg. I, I really don't see it. Warren, please. I... me sleep. We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source, and, well, you're buying time at best. 
rest. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Or re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy. And it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that will be telling. Jern finding will allow you to quickly dispatch an enemy and drop to the ground. Alive? But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Not the wound. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember our idea? What it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is. But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true, everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you brought upon us. Alec thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this will be a waste of my time and your talents. You will see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice, a child once more, as you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You will earn your way back into the brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you have me take a life? No, not yet, at least. For now, you have to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others track your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish, it is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sap. Of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, no, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. I know how it works. Be that as it may. I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. Yes, as you have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor. Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember... Begin your search in the village market. What 
going on? What's he running from?
where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. Two days attack was but their first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Thank you. 
And I'm going to leave the episode here. I go for watching. Actually, I could just end the episode here, so, yeah. As you know, if you like it, put the heart list like you love it. And I will hopefully see you in another dimension. Goodbye.